Hey everybody, so we're going to do a quick video. We're going to be talking about a RDA slash RTA. So for vaping, so please stick around and I'll see you guys there. A little quick video guys. So this is my uh, Tesla SIGS XT um, mod with a Brumhilde um, RDA slash RTA so it's it's actually a rebuildable tank and a rebuildable deck um, there's the deck it's got four wire wound coils on inside the tank that actually wick the fluid up to the cotton um, I'm very impressed with this I, I like the the comfortability of having the tank when I'm driving and the availability of dripping when I want to drip um, it's got some really good flavor production from what I've noticed the mod has held up pretty well having any issues with the mod uh, mod was only 60 bucks instead of the 190 something it usually sells for from what I've noticed um, I, I also bought it years after the fact you know I just bought it recently um, it's been out for several years I usually leave the lights the LED lights on this side off um, I don't care for the lights I just want to vape I do like the Brumhilde for the rainbow coloring. Rainbow coloring is is quite pretty and um, compared to all the other ones I've seen you can get them in multiple colors black, white, green, blue, purple. The only one the shop had Blue Dragon had was the rainbow. I picked it up because I thought it was neat. I actually quite think it's pretty. It looks good on this blue mod. Uh, my wife wants one it does some amazing flavor production it doesn't do like huge amounts of clouds I'm pretty sure you can get it to do that I have it set to 0 0.20 ohms at 4.17 volts it does a decent amount of cloud I'm sure if you go down to like 0 0.1 ohms or 0 0.05 ohms, somewhere around there, you're going to get a huge amount of clouding. But um, I also have it set at normal. I had it set at um, powerful. Just tap three times, open the menu. I had it set to hard. That's what I usually have it set to. Hard, it actually does hit harder, and it does give you more cloud when you try to hit it. You can see there's a lot more cloud. It's just too harsh for me at the moment. I'm going to change it back to normal. Um, that just changes how fast the coil heats up and you, you can take the hit on it. You, it has a soft, normal, and hard and then it's got a custom where you can customize it yourself but I thought I would do an update video figured to do an update video I've only been using this setup for about two weeks now but I'm absolutely loving it I'm not normally a RTA kind of guy I don't necessarily like tanks that much um, but this one is by far my favorite that has a tank style I got some older smock like TFV4, of TFV2. I got a couple um, Kanger Tech tanks. Um, I just I don't necessarily like tanks. Uh, they're just a lot of cleaning that needs to be done, a lot of maintenance. But I'm very impressed with this one. I think you guys would be quite impressed with it also. 
Um, I can leave if anybody wants me to leave the information for the mod or the tank please let me know I'll leave some links um, this is a Tesla SIGS XT 220 watt mod it will take a two 18650s two 20 700s and 221 700 batteries your choice or whatever you'd like to use I'm using 18650s at the moment when I can get the bigger batteries I'll try them out give a review on the bigger battery style it's got a nice display it's white it, I'm not really sure why the camera is making it look blue but it's got a good display easy to read I also like that it does have the off and on switch you can just switch it to the side and turn the whole mod off or you can tap the button still five times and it will say powering off powered off and it will turn off and then you could basically leave the switch to on you turn it off like this you try to push the button it won't fire it won't do anything you tap the button through five times and it will turn on the one thing I don't like about this mod is if you do switch the the switch to off when you switch the unit back on it asks every time if you have a new coil which can get annoying so I always leave the switch to on and I just tap five times to turn it off that way when I tap five times to turn it back on it doesn't ask me if it's a new a new coil or anything else because that can be annoying if, if you you know turn it on and off multiple times a day so um, they have this mod in uh, rainbow which I think would look amazing with this RTA RDA system uh, if I can find it I'll do a review on that one also um, got some other mods that I'll be picking up soon uh, a couple new snow wolves uh, so you guys will get to check those out this does have a charging port on the front where you can charge the 18650s or whatever battery cells you have in here whether they're the 18650s or the uh, 2700s or the 21700s you can charge them through this port this port does not do anything else all it does is charge it does not allow you to upgrade the software or anything like that Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you always want to see future updates. And go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I'll see you guys again. Peace.